it on. There, yeah, that was cleaner. That was so much cleaner. Let's go. So I don't think, I mean sadly, school started again for me. So... Watching out for that car. So I don't think you'll be getting as much footage because I'm not on summer holiday anymore. And I've got a job, as you guys know. I think when I meant, I think I've mentioned it. I'm not sure. I think that video got scrapped because my mic, well, it stopped working, so I had to scrap it because all you heard was just a GoPro wind. For some reason, or well, not stopped working. It's just the port that holds it together come blue, so I no longer. It keeps sliding out partially, so that my, well. My mic just it cuts off the recording. I, I just use voice memos on iPhone because I've got my mic plugged into my iPhone because I'm not being funny. I don't really want to spend 50 quid on a GoPro mic adapter. I find that ridiculous in my opinion. Whereas I can just stick this into my iPhone, spend 15 quid on a decent mic and it works the same. Although I do need to get a new lightning adapter because it stops working or it slides out and then the voice memo automatically stops which is quite annoying there's not a lot you can do about that so I'm hoping this tape will hold it together yep yeah, glad I stopped because there is a keep clear and yeah always look where you're going indicate with my arm because I'm on a bicycle we'll go down here because there's some nice off-road fields down here I can't believe there's a 60 down here like in no world is this a 60 you've got like openings to the left here where people can go to the right just check that one's there yeah. okay, there we go Oh, there's not a lot of people. There's like a couple of people, but so I'll be alright as long as I just not gonna go speeding because we get well. For a start, that looks like a kid up there and a dog and their parent there. And if I go flying by the kid and dog, I believe their parents are gonna have a nice word with me. And I really can't be asked for confrontation in this heat or after this long day, I just want to go out and ride cheerfully. Oh, I want to go up here, but I don't like absolutely flooring it on these off-road segments when there's like people around because I don't know, I just, I don't want to interrupt their walk or whatever and get a bad name riding this. That was a path, but it's so overgrown now. Ooh. Go left. Suspension's good. Quite bouncy. There we go, now I'll send it. This bike's never going to get old, I tell you that. Although I am been looking at the Sting R recently. I'm not getting one because by all means, what's the point when I've got one of these? I've been looking at the Sting R and oh, that looks so good. I'm not saying the Solaria X3 doesn't or XXX or whatever. I'm not saying that doesn't look good. Like by all means, oh, this bike looks amazing. But oh, come on, you can't go wrong with the Sting R, but you can't go wrong with the XXX either. Like. Oh, so much power! Yeah, she's she can she's quick. Safe to say. Mind you, I want to go up to the right here and then to the left because there is a track I've seen. I haven't gone down it yet, but I done it in my last video of my handlebar installation. 
I went down it, but there was like this little extension bit to the right, just where I pulled off from that little gap to get in, and it looks interesting. Very interesting. Just gonna flip into eco, nice and slow. Don't want to startle them or anything. And then up here, here we are. And then to the left over here, yeah, just down here. I don't know what this is all about. Let's find out though. I hate riding on gravel, man. I feel like any rock could just slip out under and then that's it, you're gone. You're going for a nice slide and your bike's all scratched up. There's no need to go fast anyway. Just going for a little cruise. Let's go all the way around to the end. I'm guessing so. Hmm, mm, so it's locked. Okay. So I've got off-road tyres for these, and the off-road version comes with a 19-inch front wheel and a 17-inch back wheel. I am thinking about getting a 19-inch front wheel since I've got I've got two 17-inch wheels at the minute, both with 70, 100, Geo Max, MX 53 tyres I think they are. But I don't know how good a 19-inch front tyre would be compared to a 17-inch. Like I heard 19-inch will have better attack or whatnot. wasn't even max speed. I mean, the thing is, when I when I've put these dirt tires on, it does take longer to reach a top speed. Probably because the tires weigh more and they're bigger or something like that. Whereas the road tires, I was able to get to my top speed a lot quicker, which obviously makes sense because the road tires, these are dirt tires, and dirt tires aren't supposed to be made for high speed. They're supposed to be for just pure grip, which is why I got them because. I like going off road a lot more than on road because I just find it you find more more places and they're better. Come on, van man, thank you. <laughs> he was looking. <laughs> I love it when people look at the bike. Makes me happy. See other people admiring something that I love. Well, I hope he was admiring it. Oh, well, there is, I don't know if, my mic's definitely not picking it up, I don't know if the GoPro will, but there's this really weird whining, and it's, I don't know if it's coming from the back or front, but I might, I think it might be the chain, I'm not too sure, look at this parking right at the f bloody walkway or whatever, but I don't know, I think it might be the chain, because when I give it some, it goes squeak, I might just loop up the chain to see how that does anything. Bumpy, 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 bumpy. Yeah, there you go. So I don't want to come flying around these corners either, because I'm not going to go speeding off because he's watching behind. I don't want, don't want to again upset anyone's walk. I believe this trail goes here. This forest is private owned, actually, but they're very nice to let people go down it. As long as you stick to the path, you can go down the, the trail, which I find is very nice of them. Lovely foresty place, this is great. Remember the first time I came down here, I was taken away. I came down that entrance or exit we are taking up there. I came down here the other way and I remember just going through like the entrance like, whoa, okay. This is a pretty cool place to ride. So now I just pass by here every now and often when I'm out on a little joy ride. And again, these people own all of this land or whatever. So they're so nice to let just the public use it. Like, I mean, they don't have to open their farm to let anyone down, but 
that nice enough to do so, so I'm gonna respect their... I don't have any rules apart from just stay out but I sure as hell can reckon they're not gonna be happy at me bombing it down here so let's respect them and not go like 80 quadrillion miles per hour not that this bike can do that but it feels like it but let's not go speeding down here. I say that, I switch it into sport. <laughs> yeah, here we are. Needs to a nice little off-road area. Which we can go exploring. Fun story, this was supposed to be built for buses. Like a bus area or something, but it's gone terribly wrong because I don't see how any buses are going to fit through here, like bus coaches. You know, I don't know how that's going to fit at all. Like, I mean, how are they, like that there, that little corner, that was supposed to be where they were to turn around. And I mean, how are they going to do that? Also, how deep is this? I just want to avoid that family up ahead. Oh, that's not too bad, I can do that. There we go. But how is this a suitable bus lane, like, it's just, it's flopped massively. Like, I mean, they just put it here and gave up. I guess it was supposed to be some sort of, like, the park was supposed to be some sort of attraction or something. I don't know what they were trying to achieve, but I think I can say that it hasn't really worked out. Because, yeah, look, bike and bus lane. That's just not really worked, has it? Down it is a nice little off-road. Ah, oh, no, not going, never mind, there's people. Unlucky not today. Don't want to interrupt people on their walks. And here we are, let's see if we can get up here. Right back here then. I think this spot is what ironically inspired me to get a set of dirt wheels for the Talaria XXX whatever 3XX3 guys so, so many names squirrel two squirrels <laughs> yeah, what's up here or is this just a dead end it's fenced off so yeah I'm gonna guess it's a dead end oh fuck that's a little A little jump going then. Let's go over this side. Six, 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 six. Oh! Oh, that was not good. <laughs> Ooh, smash the wheel into the dip. Oh, you s I think you're supposed to go over it this way. Oops. Oh, I hope I did not. That sounded bad, that was like, bad, 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 I like, properly smacked the wheel into it, I hope the... That doesn't sound good, I'm gonna be honest. Oh, shit. Um, you alright? Oh, it sounds good now. Right, let's go. Oh, there we go. Whew. Oh god, that's a, that gives you adrenaline. I hate doing it with no gear either. Because I know what's going to happen. I'm going to do it. I'm going to go there. My wheel's just going to go... Poof, I'm going to go right over. Fine, but it's in my middle pocket. Right. Stop that now. Voila. 47 minutes. Jeez. There we go. Right. <laughs> Oh no, that bottomed out. I don't get enough. I don't get enough speed on the attack. I think it is. Right. No, that's not good. I hear it's spice. Hmm. Oh, 
Maybe I could bushwhack my way. Yeah, there we go. Let's record it, yes. Uh, Larry's doing a good job. Yeah, hey, that was cleaner. That was so much cleaner. Let's go. Give another shot. Here we are. I'm going to start making a little pass. Yeah, that's more like it. <laughs> oh, let's go! <laughs> Why is that? It's so it's such a small jump, but I'm learning. <laughs> oh, that's like I didn't even. Oh, you know what? You've earned a rest. You can have it. <laughs> the right. That's an even bigger issue. That shouldn't. Why is that coming on? Oh dear. Oh well, bike wants to restart. My key fob. Thank you. Oh yeah, shit. Looks like a little. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Sick, 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 sick. I can't, I gotta try this, I gotta try this. Right, last one, last one for the win. Brother, it looks like it's a makeshift bike park, kind of. This is just what I wanted to learn on. Thank you, God, or whoever made this. Just thank you, Mike. No, nah. -uh. You know what? Nah. There we go. Do that one instead for you. <laughs> I would not have been able to get enough speed starting there. And if I'm honest, I'm not confident enough yet. But I'll keep this in mind because. I knew that there was this back area, but I didn't know I could do some jumps. Gasp. <laughs> Sim uh, yeah, let's go this way. Simply gasp. Great time. It feels oh, I felt so good to like the jump successfully too. I feel I want to do more jumps now. What's this one up here? Yeah, I think I'll pass on that one. 